Hello children, today we are doing something different. We had done the Hindu Arabic numerals. Now we are doing something interesting, something different, Roman numerals. And that's what we are going to deal with. And in the Roman numerals, they have only seven characters or we can say seven symbols from wherein we can form other numbers. And there are three main rules to follow and we will see that one by one. So we will look at Roman numerals. So, as I told you, we had done Hindu Arabic numerals. Now, what are Roman numerals? What are they? Okay? That's what we are going to look at. Now, how do they look like? They are different from the Hindu Arabic. What are Roman numerals? That's what we are looking at. What are? What are Roman numerals? All right. What are Roman numerals? And as I told you, there are seven symbols or seven characters main. And what are they? They are There are seven symbols. And the seven symbols form the Roman numerals. Huh? The seven symbols form the Roman numerals. Alright? Roman numerals. So what are Roman numerals? The seven simple form the Roman numerals. And what are they? Now these are, these are one, the very, very easy first you have. This is called one. Then we have, this is the one of the seven main symbols of the Roman numeral. Then you have Five. That's five. Then we have ten. All this to be written very, very carefully. Ten. That is ten. And then we have fifty. Then we have fifty. Ten goes like this. Then you have fifty, that the shape of L. And then, so one, five, ten, fifty. Then we have C's. That's a hundred. One hundred. And then we have D's. This is 500 and then you have the letter M that says that is 1000. Alright? So the first one is, this is number 1, this is number 5 according to the Arabic and then you have, this is number 10 and then this is L shape is 50. Then you have C, that's 100, and then 500, and finally 
1000. So, the Hindu Arabic numerals are different from the Roman numerals. What are Roman numerals? The seven symbols form the Roman numeral. These are 1, 5, 10, 50, 100, 500 and 1000. So we have here seven characters, seven symbols that make up what is called the Roman numeral. Now from this we have three main rules to follow. And there are other numbers to derive from. Now, we will look at what are those rules. Not three, there are four important rules which need to be followed while representing now Roman numeral. From these seven characters, we are going to follow the four main rules. So, what are we looking at now? The seven characters or seven symbols. From this, we have there are four important rules. There are four important rules for important rules which. which need to be followed, which need to be followed while representing while representing Roman Numerals, okay, while representing Roman numerals. So, we are going to look at these four different rules. What are they? That's what. Now, the rule number one. So, first we are going to take the rule number one, all right. Rule number one, and that's what we're going to look at first. Informing Roman numerals. What is the rule number one? The numerals one, ten, and hundred. One, ten, hundred, and one thousand can be repeated to represent numbers. That's the first rule. What the rule number one? The numerals. The numerals. The numerals. One. Okay. The numerals. One. Ten. Hundred and one thousand. Now, all these four characters can be okay. The numerals one, ten, hundred, and one thousand can be repeated. Can be repeated. Repeated to represent numbers. To represent numbers. All right? But cannot be repeated more than three times. But cannot be. Cannot be repeated repeated more than more than three times more than three times that's the rule to be followed more than 
three times. All right? That's the first rule. So let's look at the first rule. Rule number one says the numeral is one, ten, hundred, and one thousand can be repeated to represent numbers, but cannot be repeated more than three times. Okay, that's the rule number one. Now let's look at that very carefully. Now one. So this is number one and Roman numeral. And according to the Hindu Arabic, you write it as one. All right. And how do we write two? You write two. You have two lines. Very carefully done. And that is two number two. And when you have three lines, three lines. In Roman numeral, that is number three. So, see how one, two, and three we form. Okay? The rule number one says the Roman numerals. This one, ten, hundred, and thousand can be repeated to represent numbers, but cannot be repeated more than three times. So, number one. Only three times we are using it. One, then we form two lines to form two and three lines to form three. So we have repeated three times. We cannot use it again. How do we form four? That's what. Now, next we are taking the number ten. Let's look at ten. All right. Here we have the Roman numeral ten. Okay. This is ten. Now, this can be repeated to represent numbers not more than three times. Now, how do we form 20? You have two tens. So, you have one and two. And that makes 20. So, we have represented two times. One, two. And that makes it 20. Now the third time we are going to use three tens and that will make it thirty. One, two, and three. So we are using the, the Roman numeral ten three times and this number is now we call it thirty. So we cannot repeat Roman numeral 10 more than 3 times according to the rule number 1. Now let's take the 100. The C is equal to 100 and we can repeat this 3 times. Alright, now when you put double C that says it is 200, 100, 200. In Roman numeral. Now how do we form the 300? You get the three C's. You put and this is 300. 100, 200 and this makes the 300. So we have used Roman number 1, Roman number numeral 10 and then 100. Now we have the 1000. Now let's make, now single link. Letter M says that is the Roman numeral equal to the Hindu Arabic. It is called 1000. Now if you represent two M's, that is the two Roman numeral letter M, we get the 2000. 2000 and then you cannot repeat more than three times. And the third time, one more letter the Roman numeral letter M and 2 and 3 and that makes it 3000. Now, rule. We are looking at the first rule. What are Roman numerals? 
the seven symbols or characters form the Roman numerals. These are 1, 5, 10, 50, 100, 500 and 1000. So the seven main characters are 1, 5, 10, 50, 100, 500 and 1000. Now, there are four important rules to be followed that need to be followed while representing Roman numerals. That is when you are building Roman numerals, we need to follow four important rules. Now, the rule number one says, the Roman numerals 1, 10, 100 and 1000 can be repeated to represent numbers but cannot be repeated more than three times. And that's what we have worked out. Rule number one. Now, number one is one, two. You put two ones together, you get two. And then you get three ones, one after the other, you get three. So, this is Roman number one, Roman number two, and Roman number three. Then we have the Roman number ten. The first ten when you repeat twice the 10, you get the 20. And then when you repeat the Roman numeral 10 three times, we get the 30. And you cannot repeat more than three times. Next, we go to C, the letter C in the Roman numeral, which represents 100. Now, if you put two Roman numerals, one after the other, if you put two, it's 100 and then 100. So, you get 200. And then, you cannot repeat more than three times. The third time, one Roman numeral C, and you have repeated two more times. And so, you have 100 and 200 and 300. According to the Arabic, 300 and Roman numeral, if you put three Cs, which represent 100 each, is 300. Then, the last one, this is letter M in Roman num numeral, is equal to, according to the Hindu Arabic, is 1000. So, letter M in Roman numeral is 1000. And if you put two letters, 2M, one after the other, it is 2000. And then the Roman numeral, if you repeat three times, the M, 1000, 2000 and 3000. So, the rule number one says, number in Roman numeral 1, 10, hundred and thousand, it can be repeated to form numbers, but cannot be repeated more than three times. And they showed how to form one, two and three, how to form ten, twenty and thirty, how to form one hundred, two hundred and three hundred, and how to form one thousand, two thousand and three thousand.